So there was recently a broadcast show that said that the, the Motown effect, the civil rights movement, and the impact. You could say it was going hand in hand. You know, if you were a Motown head back in the day, you always saw the logo, the sound of young America. And that was something that Barry Gordy emphasized, you know, because again, he took ghetto kids from the projects and sold them to corporate America and said, you can do this. Donna Ross and the Supremes, the Temptations, Martha Reese, the Vandals, Marvin Gaye, Steve Wonder, and then the Jackson 5. And it showed that it could be done. It, but it was also PR. It was also charm school. It was also a way to enter, to brace them into middle America. It was a job. People forget that showbiz and entertainment is a job. It is work. How you sell an image, how you, you know, and they're also building careers. Because the Motown, one thing that made Barry Gordy, I think, the greatest rucker man ever. And also cemented his depth and magnitude is that he also people had careers you know it's one thing to have hit songs or hit albums tour and to be done but when we're talking decade upon decade upon decade when well, you still have a stevie wonder around you still have a lot of richie around you think about that think about that it speaks volumes about how he made careers donna ross still touring you know just think about that Longevity, but also the fact that they were embracing uh, what was going on. And so when it broke through with segregation and everything, the music was a healing force. The music always brought people together. I do firmly believe that Motown Records was very instrumental in being quite the healing force and healing power. Because it really was no other outlet that really had what we call young teenagers and young adults but that's why he's the blueprint for modernized music when you think about it because before people start talking about girl groups and boy bands and all other stuff that became years later motown was doing it and then they did film tv shows merchandise and the whole nine barry gordy was ahead of the curve groundbreaking but also uh from a racial perspective very progressive very progressive in terms of how they broke down barriers because again music can be the great remedy in between. So it did have an impact on the civil rights movement. It did. It was songs. It was even when Marvin Gaye did what's going on. That and all the uh, Stevie Wonder classics in the 70s that touched on, you know, Living for the City, Intervision, etc. You message in your music. The Temptations did it too. You know, you have to have the yin and the yang. And they centered around, brought people together. You know, Edwin started coming out with war. So it is a reminder of something that's very poet, poetic and impactful. So it's a must that people check this out. It just recently came out. They did for the betterment, I would say. Plus, these, plus to show that young African-Americans can have careers, can be professional, can go all over the world and resonate. And it's very important. It was a very, very, very important message that was said to this. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share. If you like, hit that membership because the request you make, I bring them back to you. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay real. Stay honest. Stay free. I'm out one time. Peace.